Number 11 says a spherical weather balloon is filled with hydrogen until it has a radius of 3.1 meters. Its total mass, including instruments, is 13 kilograms. A. Find the buoyant force on the balloon, assuming the density of air is 1.29 kilograms per cubic meter. B. What is the net force acting on the balloon and its instruments after the balloon is released from the ground? And C. Why does the radius of the balloon tend to increase as it rises to higher altitude? The buoyant force is equal to the the mass of the fluid displaced, which in this case is a gas, times the gravity. And so the mass, the mass is going to be equal to the volume times times the density. And so we could say that the buoyant force is equal to the volume times the density times gravity. And the volume of air displaced it's displaced by a spherical-like um, object, so the balloon we're assuming is a sphere because it gives us the radius. So the, the volume of the sphere is 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. So this gives us a final uh, equation for the buoyancy is going to equal 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed times the density of air times gravity. So if we plug in all of our values, we, we will get 4 thirds times 3.14 times 3.10 cubed times the density of 1.29 times gravity is 9.8. And so that's what buoyancy equals. So we get the final answer is that buoyancy, the buoyant force is 1,577.573 uh, newtons. And so then part B asks about the net force. And so the, the buoyant force we saw was 1577. But the net force, if we look at this like we have our balloon here, we have the, the buoyant force pushing up, and we have the mass times gravity of the of the object pulling down so the net force is going to equal the buoyant force minus the mass times gravity of the of the balloon weather system so we get 1577.57 minus 13 times 9.8 and so the answer to that is uh, is 1,450.173, and that's Newtons as well. Then part C is kind of, um, I think it, if you can't think this through, then um, drop college physics and take something else. But part C says, why does the radius of the balloon tend to increase as it rises to higher altitude? Um, it's because the external pressure, air pressure, as you go here, um, you go up, you have really dense air right here, and as you go up, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter, and so it's less dense and less dense as you go up. And so the balloon um, has a, a basically a constant internal force pushing in every direction, and it's balanced out by this external force on the outside pushing inward, and if this force lightens up, this force is going to not be balanced, so it's going to expand more until the pressure decreases. So we remember that pressure equals force divided by area. If we cause the area to increase, then the pressure decreases. And so the area is increased as, as this thing gets larger, it's an increased area. So that means it, uh, the pressure on the inside is going to be less, and so it will balance out with a lower pressure on the outside. So in summary, it's because the external pressure decreases with increasing altitude.